<laughs> or just chew on the new camera features. <laughs> we dried. There we go. Alrighty guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday, y'all. I know it has been a while since I've been on my channel. You guys are probably wondering what's going on. I've seen a lot of questions, a lot of comments, concerns. Is van life still happening? Are you still going to video? Is your channel still going on? Yes. Yes to all of that. It is all still happening. Again, I apologize for being so quiet. There has been some reasons for it. Does not mean that anything has stopped. Yes, it's all going to continue. So thank you guys for continuing to be a part of this journey with me. I very much appreciate all the positive words, the encouragement. I'm back. Content is coming. I'm here to explain every bit of that with you guys. So back to van life. You guys, I'm a firm believer everything happens for a reason. So on this journey, on this adventure, I am processing through the right needs, the right wants. I do not want to rush into any bit of it. It's the same mentality I had for the shed. I need to have the same mentality for the van. Again, I thought I was going to go larger Then I thought I was going to go smaller. I'm still working out the sizes right now. I want to take a second flashback to about a week plus ago when I got to view some buses, I thought larger was the direction I was going to go. I thought that would work best for me. Let's take a second, look at some of those that I saw here locally in the Louisville area. Are you excited to go travel with me whenever it's time? Yes. Now, what about in the process of building it? How do you feel? That's fine. Yeah? You help, I'll be here. You're going to help me, huh? Yeah. All right, you guys, as you saw, those features in the buses were super cool. Definitely awesome for a party bus, but for me and Gypsy to be living in for any period of time. Yes, it might have been a little comfortable. Yes, there was a cooler, but all the different other aspects that are in there just were not what I am looking for. So features are cool for somebody, not for me. I'm pretty sure they're still available if anybody else is interested in them, but we're going to keep moving forward. There's a few other ones that I have planned to see here locally. There's one that's also in the Austin area that I want to try to fit into the schedule that is an actual van that's a friend of mine. So maybe I'll get to check that out, share that experience with you guys. So that is to come. Again, going to continue searching. I am very keen on finding the right size, something I feel comfortable driving no, those ones are a little too large with my vision issues that I've already got and the safety of others as well as myself on the road. We are just not going to go that large, 
We're going to go a little bit smaller. So that's where I'm headed in that direction. Going to continue sharing those options with you guys. Excited about what's to come. Got a little bit more that I'll share later on, but let's move forward with what else is happening in the life to get this channel started. Now, while I'm searching for those different options, you guys, there's some things that are going to be happening behind the scenes. I want to bring forward. I want to share it with you guys. I'll be doing a few different projects on the side. This will bring in some different income. This will minimize the clutter that I already have in my life, and it will prepare me for living in a smaller space. I have a lot of different belongings that I've collected through the years. I've held on to them. I've got some emotional attachment that I need to rid myself of. Again, somebody else can find a greater purpose with a lot of things that I've collected. There's a few projects that I want to throw out on the channel that I will be doing. I am a newbie to all of this and my power tools, but I enjoy being hands-on. You guys have already kind of witnessed that. I want to bring that this direction right now. I miss doing it. So look forward to a few different projects that will pop up on the channel. I'm going to do my best to keep things separated. So if you're looking for something pertaining to van life, it'll be in its own video. If you're looking for something pertaining to a project I'm doing, it'll be a separate video. You guys can pick and choose what you want to support and watch. You have at it. I again, just thank you for being here, being part of the journey. Thank you for all the feedback, for the support, for the encouragement. Y'all are awesome. Also, <clears throat> As you may have seen before, those who followed me before all of this, or unless you're just new, I love cooking. It's a huge part of what I enjoy doing in my days. So I want to bring a little bit of that onto here right now, see how that goes. Uh, it's something that I do throughout the day. I cook for myself, I cook for my family, friends. So I wanna bring a little bit of that fun and tastefulness out front to the channel. Again, it's something that I enjoy. It's usually simple, healthy, fun. Um, that also reminds me at the end of this video, you guys, it was Gypsy's birthday. Thank you to those who reached out and said happy birthday to her. She is four years old. My baby got a birthday cake. It's an animal friendly birthday cake I found online. I'm going to post the recipe below, but it is also at the end of this video if you guys are interested. It's her own little celebration with my family and some friends and it was fun and exciting. My dad accidentally even tried some of the cake. He said it was a little bland, but honestly, I think with a little bit more honey or peanut butter would have been just fine for us as humans. I tried it, I did not argue it. It was really good, cheap. Every bit of the ingredients was around the house and it was animal friendly. So that was definitely fun. But you guys, on the topic of income, some of those projects I'm going to be doing are going to generate just a little bit of extra dollars for me going into this van build. At the same time, I want to share with you guys that I've seen a few of the comments and a few people who have said, just jump back into working, get off of this. You're not doing anything good for yourself. I am definitely doing something great for myself, actually. Uh, prior to this in my work life, I've always had a job. I've always worked, started working at a young age, doing newspapers. I got into retail. I did that for five and a half years. I switched over to the hospital, same time, worked in both jobs for a month, realized I loved the hospital, loved every bit of what I did, thought I was doing nursing, ended up finding a love for anesthesia. Sometimes unexpected doors open. You just have to jump into it. You don't realize where it's taking you. That's kind of what this opportunity is for me now. I spent seven years at the hospital. You guys, I'm not gonna forget what I did. I will let you know that part of this traveling and the van life kind of actually ties back into that. There is opportunity that I was trying to get into at the be end of last year, beginning of this year to become a traveling tech. So I'm not going to forget what I did in the hospital, but as soon as I'm done with my van, I do plan on getting back into something like that. More details to come. I recently spoke with them. I'm still excited about it. So there's a lot that's happening in my life. You guys, I think mindset is huge with what is going on with me right now. It's again, a reason why I have been quiet. Now, 
I'm gonna take a moment. I'm gonna share a quote that somebody shared with me this morning. So happy Wednesday. I have been struggling to get this video out with you guys. I wanted to just make sure that I was hitting all the key points that I needed to, to close the chapter, start this fresh, go forward with a smile, a positive attitude, and really just make everyone understand it's a clean slate and there's no room for negativity, no room for hate, none of that. So moving forward, you guys, this com or this horoscope, I should say for myself, it's not really a quote, it's a horoscope, said preserving and caring for your mind, body, spirit, and connection is important to maintaining your well-being. When one of these elements is off or out of balance, it can throw you off completely. It takes dedication for someone who always wants to be in several places at once that can be difficult to master but once you're paying attention to all three of these elements a routine part of your day it will become easier and your life will become far more harmonious in every way that hits home especially for today because i feel like that is the last two weeks of my life different areas have been off i'm finally getting to a point now where body is feeling good got no crazy pains. Mentally, I've ridded all the negativity. Moving forward, found my feet, that place on the ground. My feet are definitely planted firmly. I am not going to let anybody shake me from it. I am going to move forward with y'all's support and encouragement. And I want to remind anybody else that has felt shaky or uncertain not to be clouded by others or judgment or fear and continue going with what it is that you have in mind. Um, I definitely realize I need to listen more to my gut. My head is great, my heart is wonderful and caring, but my gut definitely knows where it is at. So I will keep that in mind. I will continue to move forward with things. I, again, am always gonna remind everybody as I remind myself and you guys are reminding me to not get focused on the little things. I am doing something huge for myself in the end. This is something that I have wanted and I feel like I need. A lot of people um, have also made comments as to, again, getting back into a job and not doing this or, I, there's so much negativity around just YouTubing. I, that's not just what I'm doing. I have realized at you know, 26, 27, I'm now 29, that those that were around me who meant the world to me that I wanted to see just live forever were getting older, were struggling with their health, were going through certain things, whether it's mentally or physically. And the routine of working their day-to-day -day job and just life in general was stressing. It was weighing them down. It was keeping them from enjoying life in so many different ways. And I witnessed that. I witnessed that in my own parents. And I love them. They are my world. They are my best friends. They are part of the reason why I feel so strongly about doing what I am doing. I see them at a young 50-something age where they are ready to go enjoy life. And it just hasn't added up for them quite yet. And it's heartbreaking because my parents have always busted their butt, worked hard, and I've witnessed every bit of that and I want them to enjoy life exactly how I am able to enjoy it right now. Now in this moment I can only enjoy it for a short period of time. My goal through all of what I'm doing is to be able to provide that for a much more long-term end goal, bring them into it and years ago I, I think, and honestly, probably 16 years old is when I started saying this, or 15, maybe younger. I always said that little old me was going to get a piece of land, get my parents out there. I'm going to build them little houses in the back corner. I'd have some kids. They'd be out there. I'd bring my family back together. We'd be all in one spot. My family, my parents wouldn't have to worry about things. I'd find a way to take care of them. You know, darn it, I think some part of me is still holding on to that dream. Somehow I want to wrap that back into reality now as things are happening. It's almost like I saw this coming uh, in a crazy way. But you guys, I'm done rambling. I want to just let you know that this channel has a lot more to offer. There is a kind heart and soul inside of me. I thank you for those who have had an open mind to seeing it. I... 
appreciate those who want to stay around and give this an opportunity and hopefully you find some entertainment or enjoyment out of this. There is a lot more personality that is inside of me that's going to come out. There is a lot more of a beautiful pit bull and some other wonderful, beautiful dogs um, that are around me here that I will continue to share. You will see pop up in the videos. I've got some amazing friends and family that will chime into this journey as well. A thank you for everybody still being on this video. Continue watching, done talking, and let's just enjoy the birthday celebrations, y'all. So. such a thing, Papa. I gotta feed sister for so much of Goodness. Get these big old faces over here. You should see them. Yeah, right here. Oh, it's like you don't even have to break it. Just do the whole thing. Okay, oh, let's go. Well, that's real sticky, man. Go ahead, Nene. Go ahead, Nene. Like that? <laughs> That's what I was trying to make get you for. I was trying to save you. I was trying to save you. Alright, you guys save the other ones. 